What is up, everybody? This is your fellow I'm not here. Otherwise, known as Flick Four and Five, and today, I'm playing some prisons on the Bandit Prison server. And I know I've not really been making new series lately, and I wanted to, you know, try something new and see if this is probably something you guys would want to watch. And I do have more time freeing up, like a little bit more time, so. I think I could spend like a little time, you know, making and editing one more vid. And there should be a GTAMC video coming up in a day or two, so, be f um, you know, look for that because it's going to come um, in a while. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And if you do, remember to slap that like button down below. Yeah, let's get into the video. We're back. This is, um, I'm going to go over the mines really quick before we get into the really cool stuff. And as you can tell, I have a pretty much good gear because I've been playing the server for about a week now and um, also thanks to uh, the Fallen Beast which is the owner of the server he hooked me up with the YouTube rank and it's right here I'm just like put a heart sign in the chat and yeah it's pretty cool because I have access to slash flying stuff and I can showcase um, most of the ranks so yeah hopefully um, if you want me to go over those stuff just tell me in the comments below and yeah um, this server has a lot of cool things such as um, custom enchants, custom plugins, airdrops, you know, pretty cool PvP. It's OP factions, meaning that the enchantments um, s surpass pretty much the vanilla maximum enchants. Basically, let's say a uh, diamond pickaxe or like a pickaxe in general has a maximum of efficiency 5. And basically, what happens is in OP factions, I mean, OP prisons. <laughs> You can actually exceed that limit, meaning you can go all the way to efficiency, like level 100, level 1000, and that's pretty decent. Well, not decent, it's pretty OP, because, you know, you can get a lot of money really quickly. And um, on this server, there's a cool feature where if you right-click your pickaxe with, like, items in your inventory for a specific mine, and you're in that mine, it'll actually collect and sell it for you. So, that's pretty cool. In my opinion, it saves a lot of time. It's pretty neat. So yeah, also you can do item, I think is the command. Yeah, you can item stuff to showcase your pretty cool stuff. And um, yeah, going over custom enchants. This is how custom enchants work. So you, you basically get e-tokens. What e-tokens are is in a daily reward, let's say if you're already prestige one, uh, e-tokens are just like special kind of currency and you can prestige every after every time you go all the way from rank A all the way to Z and rank up one more time and you get prestige 1 and you go back to rank A and after prestige 1 you can collect the new daily reward only for prestige 1's but um, if you're like a beginner noob like me, inmate you would basically get a special reward which would give you 100 E tokens and what you can do with that is you can go here and if you hold your pickaxe to this you can t it'll tell you how many E tokens you need. 50 E tokens for speed, and 75 for explosive. So I already have speed four and explosive four, so it's like a lot of tokens already gone down the drain. So I'm gonna just do this one more time. Lose all my tokens, but this is a pretty decent pickaxe because that's speed five, so that's really good. So I can just like run around like a flash, like we. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna go um into the next clip and show you something pretty amazing. Now uh, before we get into the really cool stuff, I um, just want to go over plots. So on this server you can get plots, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, sh I'm sorry I'm making this video a little boring right now, going over stuff that most of you probably know, but for those of you who don't know what plots are, it's basically just uh, land you can claim, like, like a 100 by 100 uh, land claim you can get, and it doesn't cost money to rent it, you just get it for free, and once you do that you can build like shops, let's say here, People, you can sell like let's say you can sell sticks, you can sell pickaxes, you can even sell dirt for whatever price you want. And some people who are really, 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 you know, desperate for dirt will probably buy it. So you can make profit much more throughout shops. And let's say items like crate keys and stuff, which you have to buy on the shop, you can only get in the shop or from like the highest rank, which is bandit. Um, basically, you can't um, if you don't have a rank or you can't really get it easily, like you don't have the special, you're not the highest rank, then you can buy it from someone's shop for, you know, a pretty decent price, or they could scam you, but regardless, someone is profiting, but yeah, pretty much that's what I want to cover, you can also claim a plot, build whatever you want on it, whatever, um, you have, I don't think you have a, like a limit to how high you can build, but there is a limit to how low you can build, so yeah. Also, let's get into the airdrop event, so, what airdrop event is, after, uh, let's say, uh, 
15 minutes, this, these crates will come into these little airdrop zones, and you can jump down and grab some pretty neat stuff. So, okay, the airdrop is going to happen in a couple seconds, so I just want to get an airdrop and get out. I do have slash flash. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Almost fell off. Okay, okay. I'm going to turn off slash fly for now. So, airdrop crates will come down, and basically they'll drop items like these. And I just got a diamond pickaxe. So, um, I'm going to explain to you what that is. I'm going to do slash spawn, and okay. So, when you buy a rank, you get two kits. You get the kit for your sword and your armor. Alright? And you also get a kit for your pickaxe. The pickaxe kit, which is a really, really good pickaxe, you can only get... Um, after every two weeks so that's if you get one of these you're gonna want to keep them and save them because they're really good and honestly I think the server isn't really that much pay to win because you can rank up and eventually when you get to a certain prestige level you can you know pretty much just go and collect the bandit key and what I want to get into next is crate keys so you can buy crate keys in the shop and get them from your kits if you're really high enough kits and also Every like donor rank has their certain perks they give you, so it's pretty decent. You also get really cool kits. But yeah, I'm gonna go um show you what the key crate keys are. I don't really want this diamond pickaxe, but I'm just gonna keep this in my inventory. I mean in my uh, ender chest and also backpacks. I basically get like nine slots I can so whenever you mine and in my inventory gets full, the blocks will automatically go into these this backpack and it'll fill it up. Nine slots. So I can get like I can make more money at a time which is pretty amazing. So you can just fill your inventory with backpacks and get like a bunch of inventory slots. And you have to buy backpacks with I think you could buy backpacks with e tokens or something. I don't know, like BP buy, I think that's the command. You need 500 e tokens. So it's going to be a lot of money I have to save up, but you get like 100 tokens a day from your daily reward, so it won't be that bad. So crates you vote, you know, you do slash vote and you go to the link and you vote. You can get a chance to get the first two ranks and a rank up crate key. So I'll explain to you what that is. You also get a lot of money, and you can, God apples are really rare because you can't get apples at all in the game. There's no way to get apples other than from crate keys. So if you get one of these, these are really, really, really rare. So be sure to keep that. Also, you can get shop multipliers, meaning whenever you sell stuff in the mines, you get double or triple or quadruple the amount you'd usually get. Maybe a bunch of ores you can sell. E tokens, which are decent, I guess, and basically you have a chance to get the ranks, which are really low percentage. But I mean, there's still a possibility, so it's not that bad. There's also the multiplier crate, which basically just gives you a sell multiplier, and there's a mine crate, which gives you E tokens, and miner credits. So what miner credits are? If you mine and it says you have received one miner credit or something like that, you can slash collect, and each miner credit is a thousand dollars. So I just got like how much money is this? I need to count. Um, that's about like 10 million I believe and 10 million is not much on the server as it'll cost like trillions to upgrade but you know as you progress it'll it'll get pretty much you know you'll get money faster trust me and this is also the bandit crate key but we're gonna go over this rank up crate key so whenever you rank up you can unlock use a key and you can get like a rank from the rank up crate key if you rank up with slash rank up, or you can get god apples, really good pickaxes, ores, or e tokens, which you help you can use to upgrade your pickaxes or buy backpacks, which are pretty neat. And here's the godliest, no, not the godliest crate key. I'll show you which one is the best crate key of all. But this one is probably one of, you know, many people's favorite because this crate key, you can get permanent multipliers, you can get a bunch of god apples, a lot of crate keys for voting, you can get any type of rank so let's say you can get all the way from wood rank which is the the first rank all the way to bandit rank which is the highest rank which I think is pretty decent because if you get one of these babies you well bad boys you'll you'll definitely get a really good prize so in my opinion you also get trillions of dollars so if you get like a 500 trillion you can like rank up a bunch of times so that's pretty neat and yeah I want to show you this the pet crit key so pets like you might be thinking, oh, flick, this is stupid pig pets, wolf pets, you know, snowman pets. But no, the pets are actually pretty neat. So, the pet key, you can get custom pets. Basically, they customize it so armor stands and stuff like that. It makes it look like it's a real life, well, not real life, it's still Minecraft-ish, so nothing in Minecraft is real life, but I'm sorry. But 
it'll be pretty neat. I'll, I'll show you in a bit. So you do pet menu to access your pet. And you, whenever you have a pet access, you just click on it, and then it'll, you can spawn it. So, um, the owner, co-owner, um, Wee Man, shout out to him. Uh, I'm just gonna message him a heart. This guy gave me a pet crate key. So what I can do with this is I can unlock one pet, and I wanna, I wanna see which pet I get. So pets are gonna be amazing. So yeah, let's let's see what I get. Okay, wait. Uh, look, three, two, one. And I got a pet Maggie voucher, which I don't know what that is. So I can sell this. Let me just item this really quick. GG. So I can either sell this for a lot of money and rank up, or I can use it. I wanted to use it just to try out what it looks like. So yeah. Um. Let, let, let's just try this out and see what happens. Okay. So I'm gonna do pet menu and uh, pet Maggie. What the heck? Oh. Oh my God! I got one of these things from The Simpsons. If you don't watch, if you don't watch The Simpsons, it's basically like the baby of the family. It's, it's pretty cool. So I think anytime I walk around, the pet will follow me, and I could like get pets that fly, pets that are just boring, or something cute like this. But yeah, if you guys want to check this server out, survive people down in the description below. I think this is probably the end of the episode. If you guys want me to review over the ranks, as I do have up to rank emeralds or you want me to showcase the mines or other kind of you know special cool items on the server just tell me in the comments below if you just want to see another episode of me pvping and stuff remember to tell me in the comments below as well so yeah i hope you guys do enjoy this episode remember to leave a like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace